I was really ready for the next step. I really wanted some more learning so that I could start to work clinically with people. I think I was aware of how much I didn't know and I, I wanted to feel like I was developing myself and my skills and, and being able to help children and people. Specifically liked the fact that this was just focused on children and young people. And what I liked about the idea of the course is that instead of having a placement, we trained within the workplace that we're going to keep working with, so we don't have to keep moving around. And I really like the fact that it's a lot of what they talk about and teach us then has a part that gets us to think about how we would use that in, in reality, in the service. At the University of East Anglia, the way we go around delivering our training really supports the CAPS development over time. Obviously, we try to provide them with the declarative knowledge that they need for the role, but we also have lots of time for them to practice their procedural skills, such as role play, skills practice. The teaching that we're we're getting on the CAP role is very much based on how we're going to apply it in the service. And then we make sure there's space in the curriculum for them to reflect on their experiences and to learn from the actual work they're doing when they're working in the workplace. I really like the balance between the lectures and the -the on-the-job learning. So we have about roughly half and half each, don't we? So two and a half days learning and two and a half um, days on the job. And I I like that balance. The learning is really experiential how they model role plays and then ask them to do role plays, video recordings, how they ask them to really embed and try out the therapy techniques that then they bring to the therapy room with young people. And that's really helpful. Or or watching lecturers like do role play themselves, that's really helpful to see how they would apply the skills that they're trying to teach us. It means the CAPs that come into our services know their treatments really well and can start applying them. And we're also very responsive to their own thoughts and reflections and development over time and the work that they're doing in service. The range of of different clinical topics and themes that they bring um, and how applicable that is then to a community NHS CAM setting so that actually CAPT can work with a whole range of different mental health disorders and at different severities with risk presentations. And all of the support services of the university are available to all of our apprentices. And at the same time, of course, they also benefit from all of those workplace supports. They are supported through weekly supervision that they have on placement. um, So I offer that. And also through every three months or so, we have a joint meeting with their tutor at the university where we'll review their progress, see how they're doing. UEA are very supportive in terms of well-being for their students generally and where we can get support from the university if we need it. One of the things we really enjoy about working with our service colleagues is supporting the CAPS in terms of their development over time. It's been really easy partnering with the University of East Anglia because they offer quite a few meetings. So they do supervisor workshops with us. I also meet with um, the CAPS tutor quite regularly, um, perhaps every three months, and then we meet all together to review the CAPS progress. So then being able to have those discussions and supervision around planning how to do it, but then being able to reflect on how it's gone when you've done it and being able to really talk about if things have gone wrong, that that's okay. And we work closely with employers to try to figure out what they need from their CAPS and to ensure that the training course provides that so that the NHS ends up with the workforce that it needs. The important thing for me is that I know if I was finding something difficult, if I was really struggling, I know I could go to either my academic advisor or my my team manager or my supervisor. There's a very broad holistic nature to the training that I think is really helpful and that it progresses you from lots of teaching to less teaching to more placement and study over time and that you're actually learning the tips and techniques as you're applying them in the same week or the week after. Is that it feels like a true partnership between us as the training provider uh, and the NHS or our service colleagues so that we're both working together to develop caps that the NHS needs to provide a more psychological NHS. The endings for me have been really positive that I've so far because the young people I've worked with have been just left the room a different person. So when they came in, um, and that kind of makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, being able to see that as they as they develop is really rewarding work. 